whether you're wanting to listen to music or make calls on the go. The ability to connect your smartphone to a vehicle is a deciding factor for many when searching for their next car or van. The traditional methods have been via a Bluetooth connection or a good old-fashioned aux cable. But nowadays, manufacturers have integrated your smartphone in a more immersive way, predominantly through what's known as Apple CarPlay. In this video, we're going to run you through what Apple CarPlay is and how to use it. We've also taken a look at Android Auto, which is a similar system designed for Android phones, and you can view that video by clicking the pop-out above. Apple CarPlay is essentially a system that mirrors your smartphone onto the display screen within your car, allowing you to adjust various settings using an interface that you're already familiar with. Various apps are available, and you can even use Siri voice commands to change music, call a friend, or set a route using your chosen navigation application, allowing you to keep your full focus on the road. Hey Siri, call Dan Hitchman. Calling Dan Hitchman, mobile. Apple CarPlay first came to market in 2014, with every phone from the iPhone 5 offering CarPlay compatibility. You'll need to check whether your car offers Apple CarPlay though, as not all cars do. To enable Apple CarPlay, you'll first need to connect your phone to your car. To do this, simply plug your iPhone in using its normal charging cable, and a prompt will appear. Accept the prompt, and the Apple CarPlay interface should automatically activate on your car's display screen. If it doesn't automatically appear, you should be able to access Apple CarPlay via your car's infotainment system. You may also need to ensure your iPhone is set up for CarPlay, which usually means making sure Siri voice command is enabled. Wireless smartphone integration is another emerging feature, so if your car has this capability, you'll be able to connect to Apple CarPlay using Bluetooth. If you're already familiar with an iOS system, then navigating the Apple CarPlay menu will be straightforward. It looks like a simplified version of your iPhone home screen, providing access to various applications that enhance your driving experience. Activating Siri voice controls is also a convenient process. Simply say, hey Siri, and the desired command as you normally would, and the system will complete your request. This allows you to skip songs, change destinations, and call a friend without having to take your hands off the steering wheel. Various third-party applications are compatible with Apple CarPlay, including Waze for navigation, Spotify for music, and WhatsApp for communications, keeping you ever connected with your vehicle. Once your vehicle and iPhone are connected, there's no need to reconfigure Apple CarPlay. Simply turn your ignition on, and as long as your iPhone is connected via its cable or Bluetooth, it will automatically activate the CarPlay system. You can also head back to your car's default infotainment system through the CarPlay menu, allowing you to adjust other settings that don't feature as part of Apple's setup. If you do want to disconnect your car from Apple CarPlay, you can do this by forgetting the device within your car or phone settings. If this video has been useful to you, then please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep up to date with our latest videos, and tell us what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching.